I wrote one book as Terry Lennox, uh, but before that I wrote four books under my own name uh, about a private eye called Scott Mitchell. Very bad books. Really bad. Not on purpose, you know. At the time I thought... I thought I was being the, the one person to uh, transfer Raymond Chandler to England successfully. Uh, American private eye in England successfully. It was a total failure, I think. But every now and again, someone finds the books and brings them to me because they have my name at a reading to sign, and it is quite embarrassing to have to sign them. But now in America, um, a copy of the book is worth a lot of money, maybe uh, four or five hundred dollars because there were not many published. Um, so I tried four, not successful, and then I wrote one book as Terry Lennox, which was a little better, not much, but a little better, and I thought crime fiction was something I was not very good at doing. I like to read it, but maybe not write it. And the, I think the thing that made the difference, I wrote a, a series for British television called Hard Cases, uh, set in Nottingham, where I was living, and where the Resnick books later were set. And it was about the probation service and uh, the way they dealt with uh, prisoners coming from prison after or people who are on probation instead of going to prison. And uh, it was modelled on Hill Street Blues, exactly on Hill Street Blues. Um, I, I, before I wrote the first episode, I watched Hill Street Blues with a stopwatch. And I timed exactly how many seconds for each scene, how many characters in each episode. And then I modelled Hard Case's script on that. But because he was dealing with crime and dealing with people looking after criminals, uh, and we filmed it in Nottingham on location, I, I got this sense that I would like to try a, a police series set in, in the city. And, and then, so directly after that was when I wrote Lonely Hearts, the first Resnick novel.